How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ken and today's video is a first look, first impression kind of video. I know that I'm pretty late in the game but I finally got my hands on Apple's latest iPhone 13 here in the studio and I thought I would share with you guys some of the reasons why I picked up the standard iPhone 13. Not the mini, not the pro and definitely not the pro max. Now without wasting any more time, let's dive right into the ASMR unboxing of this phone. So guys, we've just unboxed the iPhone 13 and my first impression right off the bat is this phone, the grip, the square corner design is absolutely, it's really really nice, like super duper nice. I don't know why I'm so excited. The colour on this thing, can we just take a moment to appreciate the colour coming out? The, 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 the bright product red colour. I don't know why but I am a hardcore product red fan. As you can see, the iPhone XR that I had from three years ago was also a product red and this time round I also picked up a product red iPhone. I don't know why but there are something to do with these buttons being a red accented colour. It gives like a really really good punch. So while the phone is being set up for the very first time, let me share with you guys some of the changes that were made in this year's iPhone series. iPhone 13 this year adopted the square design of the iPhone 12 series back in last year. So this is a minor update if you're coming from the iPhone 12. The diagonal placement of the camera lens, a 20% smaller notch and the speaker grille being repositioned to the top of the phone. Previously, I had the opportunity to unbox the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Links are in the card above right here in case if you are interested. Unfortunately, that phone does not belong to me. Instead, it belongs to one of my buddy, Sean. So this time around, I finally decided to buy the bullet and go ahead with the iPhone 13 instead of waiting for another year. So to really condense this down, there are three main reasons why I decided to go with the standard iPhone 13 this year. That is the battery, camera, and price. So for those of you who don't know, I've been using the iPhone XR for a good three years since it is released all the way back in 2018. The battery life on the iPhone XR is sitting at 81%, having an average of 3-4 to four hours of on-screen time. I find myself having to charge my phone at around 11am I believe, and another around 3-4pm. to 4 PM. And before going to bed, I will plug it in as well. So that's about 2-3 to three charges per day. Thanks to the A15 Bionic chip on the iPhone 13 with its improved efficiency core, the battery life on iPhone 13 is phenomenal, claiming up to about 7-8 to eight hours of on-screen time. Camera-wise, the lenses are adopted from the iPhone 12 Pro series and the sensor shift stabilizers for video recording and better low-light photos that were exclusive on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is also available on this year's 13 series iPhone. Cinematic mode or video in portrait mode is also exclusive on the 13 series. Now, both of these features are a huge win for me. Lastly, for the exact same price as the iPhone XR 3 years ago, with these specs on an iPhone in 2021 absolutely seals the deal for me. I know, I know what you might be thinking. I might be losing out on the much anticipated 120Hz ProMotion display or the better cameras on the Pro models like the telephoto lens or being able to shoot macro, Apple Pro Raw, ProRes video and all of that good stuff. Well, I hope to cover all of these things in the coming weeks for the long-term review of do we actually need these features. For now, I think I am really, really satisfied with the standard iPhone 13 right here, especially coming from the iPhone XR from three years ago. Not to mention the screen resolution upgrade from a 720p LCD display to an OLED display. That being said, for the upcoming weeks and possibly months, I'm excited to explore and test out a little bit more about using the iPhone 13 as my daily driver from an average consumer's point of view. As always, I'll be sure to share with you guys all there is to know about the new iPhone 13 real soon. In case if you're interested in iPhone 12 Pro Max, I've done a couple of videos testing out the video and photo comparison of the iPhone 12 Pro Max versus a full-frame camera, the Sony A7 Mark III. I've also made a playlist right here for you to check it out later. And that is all from me in this first impression video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. 
like the video if you actually enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already thank you all so so much for tuning in now if you would excuse me i will sort of want to set this thing up and uh, i'll catch you on the next one stay safe peace out and bye bye